Who's the king of R and B today uh -huh. and of all time? Mm. But you won't pit Michael Jackson to R and B, right? Because he was pop. Yeah, I, I see more pop. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah, I don't. Pop. I don't think. When I think Michael Jackson, first thing I don't think is R and B. Like so, you said, I think so. Pop. So you would say I say Chris Brown, Chris Brown, and R and B. Yeah. So would, to this day. To this day, according to me, I say Chris Brown because he's just the person I listen to the most. Some people might pick The Weeknd or Jacquees or one of them, but that's because that's who they precipitated more to. I was more like in towards um, Chris Brown, so I'll say, yeah, I would say Chris Brown for me. If somebody else say Usher and stuff, that's probably because you grew up off of Usher or you listen to him more. I didn't do that. I listened to Chris Brown more, so Makes according sense. to me, yeah, it would definitely be breezy. For sure. All right. And then of all time? Or was he for both? Yeah, I think he would be for both. Okay. For both, for sure. All right, for cool, both. cool, cool. I for my all time, right now, yeah. right now. Yeah. It might Re change later Re on in life. got the title. Well, let me ask you this, because I, I actually saw this on Twitter. Since we're speaking to Chris Brown and you mentioned Michael Jackson, someone said Chris Brown could have been as big as Michael Jackson if not for the distractions. Do you agree with that? Um, nah. You said no? Mm -mm. Why not? I don't know. Um, Michael Jackson had distractions too. But I feel like, dang, the music Michael Jackson was putting out is so timeless. Like, he was way back then, but, but I don't Michael, remember. Also, Michael Jackson didn't indulge in the distractions as much as Chris Brown did, at least not nah, at, nah, young, he, he young, at such as a like young age. Like drugs and stuff? Nah, but it was just like different things he was going through at being a young age. It probably just wasn't too much on the media as Chris Brown's mm -hmm. type of stuff was. But I feel like he went through a lot of distractions. And then being young inside that type of game, like I know that was a lot of distractions from then. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Billie Jean tried to get him kept caught up. Nah, for sure. But I would say as far as the music, Michael Jackson had timeless music. Like Literally. I knew when I was a kid, I was listening to it. Then I see my nephews, like it's just something about him. Like people just draw, draw into But his his music is like, it speak for itself. It's it definitely. does. That it does. That it does. Um, real quick, I want to give my answer for king of R&B of today and all time. Yeah, who you think? So today, shit, I don't know. Um, I want to say The Weeknd only because of the Trilogy album. That's like the one Weeknd. of my favorite albums of all time, the Trilogy album. Mm -hmm. But since the Trilogy, I mean, in a, in a little stuff after the Trilogy, but like as of recently, I can't really give that to him. Yeah. Um, Usher has still been consistently killing it. So I might have to give it to Usher. You can give it to Usher. Yeah, and he's like, you know, the verses. Usher, of, of, Usher, of nice Brown. too. You can't take that from him. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it, because he's still, you know, like he's still, still torn going. and killing it and whatnot. He's still, he's still very relevant. Okay. So I'll give it to Usher as far as today. As far as all time, I'm going to give that to Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye, Because R&B stands for rhythm and blues, right? Yeah. And I think Marvin Gaye was the epitome of rhythm and blues because... He really did have like his music was had a lot of blues because mm -hmm. he would rap about shit that like really made you uh um I don't know he just represented the black community not for sure positively but he would bring light the negative shit that would not be happening sure. in the black community Marvin Gaye has some good music too great music great music and he could sing and he could sing sing for yeah, sure yeah like sexual healing like ain't no <laughs> mountain like Marvin could oh sing. that's one of the ones you put on that playlist we were just talking yeah. about is not well I see the thing here's the thing with the playlist <laughs> I I was scared to put like old old ass music on there because I didn't that's know how she would though. take it yeah it's smooth <laughs> but I don't you know what I'm saying she's like what the I, look look after this interview go ahead and just add that at the Probably in the middle of the list. So Sexual things, healing? Yeah. And see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to do it in the middle. Yeah, yeah. It might be smooth. I like that. Yeah. But um, I think he's the greatest of all time. A lot of people say Kinky Kells. I think Kinky R. Kells. Kelly is second. Oh, not R. Kelly. I forgot about R. Kelly. Yeah, Kinky Kells. That's who I was talking about. You should hear R. Kelly at every graduation you was at. Cookout. All Cookout. that shit. R. Kelly was a fool. Yeah. Wait, are you talking figuratively or literally? Are you talking about his music was good or yeah, you saying he was a fool? Nah, like, his music. Okay, his yeah. music was a fool. That was the other person that, like, that man and could he tell even stories. Know how to write music. That man could tell stories in his music. I believe I could fly. Man, had Come me on. at a young age believing I could fly. I tried to hop off the um, washing Come machine, on, bust my head open, though, but it just, 
where he made me believe that yeah. I can fly. Yeah. I said, Mom, look, I can fly. Yeah. So a lot of people have him as number one, mm. and I get it. Like I said, I would put him at number two, uh-huh. and I'd probably put like Luther at number three, but mm. I think Marvin is the king of R&B as of now of all time. Damn, your lineup, your lineup is valid, too. Your line, you got a, you got a um, all-star lineup right there. Appreciate that, man. Music is my... my now you, you got an all-star lineup. That, your type of lineup right there is making me think back to the times that I just wasn't thinking about when I was mentioning mine. Yeah. It's like, okay, that lineup Well, is. you know, if you if you think of anything else, you can run it back. But Chris Brown is a very valid answer, so we're not mad at that. 